the first of the fifth today and it was a gym morning this morning and then as you can see just there I went out and I did some hill sprints um, right after the gym. Typical arm session that I've captured before so I just logged it quickly doing each exercise. Cable extensions, bicep curls, um, tricep extensions with a rope, uh, single arm curls and try different tri-step extension variations with overhand and underhand grips and then the bits that I didn't film was just essentially like um, my skull crushes and my uh, you know another bicep kill variation and that was pretty much it so it's like it's a standard one that I normally do and it goes it's about a 40 minute workout in total I do all of these sets so I usually do about four or five sets uh, which eat with each of these exercises all ranging in reps uh, usually from about 10 to 15 reps with most exercises and then drop sets at the end uh, we'll try and do 10 reps and then do a drop set for 10 reps as well which don't count as a set you know one set is is the set plus the drop reps um so yeah look it was a, it was a good workout it was a it was a good pump it was something that i decided to target because i've done deadlift and legs uh, the previous two days so obviously quite big movements uh, involved in those workouts a lot of central nervous system taxing going on there so I thought I'll come I'll just train the smaller muscle group today I'll train arms um, however I'll go and I'll, I'll do some form of cardio now I wanted to go trail running I was like I can go trail running I was like I'll do you know one of the trails that's about an hour and 40 away near like near one of the last ones I did but it's a longer one I was like, I'll go out, I'll do 15 to 20 k's and come back. And then I found out the trail was closed and it won't be open until like mid-June. So that I got threw that out the window. Um, so I was like, oh, look, I could go trail running at the place uh, that I did heels at today. But I was like, um, it's also a mountain biking course as well. So I think some, some people get a little bit annoyed if, if you're running while they've uh, got their mountain bikes going. So I was like, oh, I didn't really fancy that. Cause, and I'd run it before as well. So it was becoming a little bit monotonous uh, so I was like something that I haven't done in a long time is hill sprints and it is something that I used to do when I was like oh man when I was like I've been doing hill sprints for like the last 10 years I reckon since I was about 13 or 14 I was doing hill sprints I used to live in acreage uh, that was very slopey like it was a really really steep gradient I lived on three acres and like the top of the property would go all the way down to the bottom of the property and there was a big big slope in the middle and I always used to do hill sprints up there I was like a mad little thing there's a paddock out the back there's a paddock of cows at the back uh, which had an even steeper hill and an even longer hill uh, just over the fence behind my house and I used to jump out the back there and do hill sprints uh, in the cow paddock after school um, when I was when I was a kid uh, when I was in high school and like even to the extent that even in my own backyard I think I used to push like a wheelbarrow full of like firewood up and down the hill as like my strength training my legs training so I decided to hit this place um, here with my hill sprints so I did 10 sets of sort of 90 to 100 meter I'd like roughly between 90 and 100 meters I sort of paced it out so like I'm saying roughly like I paced it out to 100 but it might be 90 because uh, it's up a hill around 90 to 100 meters um, about 20 meters is flat about maybe 30 meters is a little bit flat and then uh, a lot of it is more hillier you know there's about 75 80 meters that's quite steep so I did that 10 times for the longer session and I always walked down backwards. Now walking down backwards is a good key for recovery that I used to pick up when I was, a, was an avid sprinter. We always used to do hill sprints and then walk down the hills backwards, uh, stretching out our calves and you know, helping your knees and your ligaments there. Always made my knees feel better walking backwards after doing hill sprints and it takes a bit of relief off your quads as well. So 10 sprints up, walking down backwards 10 in a row. Um, as you can see here, getting tired. So the first couple I filmed were like three and four. I think this one's now five or six. And I was pretty gone by six. I was like, I had the ambition to do like 20 today. 
I was like, yeah, I can do 20. I'm feeling really good. I, was, I got to six and I was like dying. I did legs yesterday. My legs were so sore. They were cramping up, full of lactic acid. So it was just one of those one of those things. So I ended up doing these 10 longer hill sprints followed by a set of five 40-meter hill sprints where I was running backwards uh, on my tippy toes. So that's something I haven't done in a long time. It took me a couple goes to actually get my coordination and you'll see like the first attempt that I filmed is, it just looks a bit odd. Uh, but the last two or three were of more quality and quite quicker. I got a quicker turnover as I got more comfortable running backwards up a hill. Again, just works your hamstrings and your quads a lot differently. Uh, then your conventional running up a hill, so it's good strength training and good to feel the burn and, you know, teach that muscle that I've built doing leg day. I'm going to teach it uh, and I'm going to show it what it's, what it's going to be used for and it's going to be used for running. Uh, so I did those um, hill sprints backwards up a hill and then I finished, so I did five sets of those and then I finished off with five sets of 40 metre conventional hill sprints like on the steepest bit of the hill, uh, so up the last, up the steepest 40 metres of the hill, um, which were really good, I felt really quick, I had to do a couple to really get into it but I was, I was starting to feel really quick at the end. Uh, and the recovery is basically just walking down the hill backwards and then once you walk down the hill, you go again. It was like that with every single one of these reps. It was, you know, run up the hill backwards, you walk down, you go again. You, go again. you don't sit at the bottom and rest for 30 or 30 seconds or a minute. It was like, as soon as you reach the mark, which is my water bottle, as soon as I reach the water bottle, it was turn around, bang, go up again. So like really back, like, like I was back in the day when I was doing proper sprint training. Um, so... So look, a really good session, something I should incorporate more of because I, I thoroughly enjoy how much pain and uncomfortableness uh, I feel doing this. So there will be more to come. Uh, fingers crossed. So cheers. Thank you very much. And I will see you in the next one.